Hello. Ah, oh, hi, Mark. Hi, are you okay? Yeah, doing fine. Y you busy? Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look, um, it was just a reminder. Of, you know that party we talked about a few days ago. That oh I, yeah yeah. You know, I really wanted you to be there. I've got some people lined up who want to meet you. Well, yeah. D just a it's this afternoon. Is that, is that okay? okay? Yeah, yeah. Th three o'clock. Yeah, I'll be there. Are you sure? Definitely. Uh -huh. Do you promise? Stuart, Stuart, I promise I'll be there. I'll be there. Okay, right. I'll stop worrying. I'm, I've, you know, I've got a lot on at the minute. I just wanted to make sure yeah. that you were you were definitely going to be there. Okay. Right. Well, yeah, I promise I'll be there. Okay, that's great. Okay. I'll see you okay, there. Bye. Okay. Cheers. Bye. Surprise! <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> oh, what a, what a shock. I've been here the whole time. I promised I would be. Oh, well, I'm, I'm pleased to see you, but I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Well, that was a bit of fun. I did keep Stuart waiting, but I kept my promise. Now, in today's episode, our Bible story is about God making a promise to someone. That person has to wait quite a long time, and it's all a bit of a surprise. But God did keep his promise. This is the story of a promise that God made to a man called Abraham. Now, Abraham was very old, and so was his wife, Sarah. They were quite well off, though. They had lots of things, uh, lots of animals, and lots of people who did work for them. But what they didn't have was any children. And God made a promise to Abraham and Sarah that they would have a family of their own. A family that would become a great nation, a huge number of people. And God was going to use these people to bless all the other people in the world. Now Abraham must have wondered how that promise could be possible because they were now past the age of having children. And then God asked Abraham to leave the place that he called home to go to a new land, the land of Canaan. So they gathered together all their people and all their animals and all their things and packed them up and set off to go to the new land. When they arrived in Canaan, they explored the whole land. And for many years, they traveled around, staying in different places, living in tents.
Abraham and Sarah waited for many, many years, but there was still no sign of them having a family. Throughout this time, God kept them safe and reminded them of the promise. God said, all this land will belong to your family and your family will be so great and as difficult to count as dust or sand or the stars in the sky. Abraham still trusted God, but this promise seemed impossible. Abraham and Sarah continued to have many adventures over the years. And one day, God reminded them of the original promise. And Abraham, Abraham laughed. How can I, an old man, have a family? And how can Sarah, in her old age, have a baby? Soon after that, as Abraham was sitting at his tent, he saw three men standing, looking at him. He got up to welcome them. He had food prepared and they ate together. While they were eating, one of them said, where is Sarah? In the tent, said Abraham. This time next year, said one of the visitors, I will come back and Sarah will have had a son. Now Sarah, who had been watching and listening from the tent, laughed out loud. I am worn out and my husband is old. How can this be possible? God did keep his promise. Abraham and Sarah did have a little baby, a boy, and they named him Isaac. And Isaac grew up and he had a family, he had children, and those children had children. And as that family grew and grew, it was the beginning of a great nation chosen by God to be a blessing to the rest of the world, all just as God had promised. A slightly different challenge for you today. We're gonna sing a song. See if you can keep up with the words and the actions. Father Abraham, I
that song is all about Father Abraham. It says, huh? he has many sons and that I'm one of them and so are you. But my dad's called Andy and we do not share a dad. No. What's it on about? No, that's right. But, <laughs> but God did promise that his whole world would be blessed by Abraham's family, uh, that he would be their God mm. and they would be his people. Mm, yes. God has made it so that we can all be part of that promise. We can choose to be his people and to have him as our God. Mark, the thing that struck me, uh, going back to the story, uh, was that Abraham, uh, despite some impossible situations, continued to have faith and trust in God. Abraham's famous for that. What stands out to me is that God kept his promises. Yeah, so God kept his promise to Noah. Mm -hmm. God kept his promise to Abraham. And we believe that God keeps his promises to us. We do. We've got more about God's promises in future episodes. But for now, we'll hand over to Sarah. Bye. Goodbye. Well, hi again, everybody. In our story today, Mark and Stuart, we're talking about God's promise to Abraham. And because of that, we are going to make um, some little stars today. So in your pack, you will have some cardboard and some um, coloured thread. You'll have lots of different colours in yours. And what we're going to do to start with is we're just going to find something that will make a circle. I've got some sellotape and we're just going to draw around that on our piece of card. If you've got a mug at home, you could do that too. Then we're going to cut round. As always, if you don't have a pair of scissors at home, please get in touch and we will make sure you get a pair. Grown-ups, you might need to help out any little ones here. So once you've got your circle, you're going to take a straight edge. If you don't have a ruler um, like me, just find something straight. I'm using um, an old birthday card. And take whatever your straight edge is. Mark the middle. And we're going to go straight along. We'll go across. And we're going to go in between these two lines and in between these two lines here. So you've got eight that make a bit of a star shape there. You can do more lines if you like. You can do um, eight, you could do 12, um, or you could even do 16. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take a little cut at the start of each of these lines, again, grown-ups, you might need to help any little ones with this. You don't want to make these cuts too long, just a little bit. Okay, then you're going to take your thread. I think you should have three colours in your pack. Um, and what you're going to do is tuck one end in your one of your slits and you're just going to thread it in between. wherever you like, turn your star around. So you're just threading it around whichever way you feel like. Then when you're happy with it, just tuck your thread in, snip the end of your thread and you can keep that for your next one. And once you've got the first bit, you can add a second color on top and start wherever you like. Just thread it between those wee cuts. Turn in your card round as you go. Again, when you're happy, just pull your thread tight at the back and snip it off. And you should have three colours in your pack, so you can even do an extra bit at the end in directions that you haven't quite managed yet. And again, when you're happy, turn it over, snip off, and there's your little star. So there you've got some little stars to create from your pack today. Um, you can 
creates more. If you've got some spare thread, you can get some cardboard, an old cereal box, any cardboard you've got at home is perfect. You can try doing different sizes, you can try doing different numbers of cuts around the outside um, and see how creative you can be with your stars. What's really nice is the back is quite pretty too. While we're thinking of stars today, your second activity is gonna involve some sort of device. If you've got a smartphone or a tablet, um, what we'd like you to do is see if you can go on there. Grown-ups, you'll need to help out with this. Find yourself a stargazing app. There's a few on there that are free. If you can't find them, get in touch and we can point you in the right direction. Um, take your device outside and it will show you all the stars in the sky. It might even find some names for some of them. Please let us know um, what you find. As usual, if you are on the Facebook page, please, please come and show us what you've been up to. We love to see your pictures and your videos. If you are not on there um, and you're not on Facebook, then feel free to email them in. If you would like to join the Facebook group, send us a message and we will send the link over to you. We will see you again soon.